Good evening, everyone. Although we don't have visual confirmation on the ground, it appears that Peregrine has burned up. This Doppler image demonstrates how the dive actually took place. Everything occurred according to plan, and the vehicle re-entered precisely where Astrobotic wanted to put it over the ocean, close to the coast of Australia, but not really close to any inhabited areas. And this is something I think that needs to be emphasized right now. The vehicle had experienced extreme problems with its propulsion system. It was impossible to perform any sort of sustained burns for maneuvering purposes, which means to get Peregrine to this point, Astrobotic had to carry out approximately a dozen short duration burns instead. And yet this was done with extreme precision, with Peregrine re-entering the atmosphere, as I said before, pretty much exactly where it needed to to make sure that nobody on the ground would be threatened. Astrobotic should be applauded for this. In addition, it also demonstrates that had they wished to, they probably could have saved the probe and diverted it away from an Earth re-entry, but if they had done that, the propellant would have run out eventually, and then Peregrine would have become an unguided missile hurtling through low Earth orbit, geosynchronous orbits, and even cislunar space. This was not an acceptable alternative, not a responsible alternative, and this is why Astrobotic did what they did. Before burning up, Peregrine managed to snap this photograph of the Earth as the probe was approaching our atmosphere. Quite a beautiful photograph, I think, given the extremely difficult conditions under which it was taken. But I can't wait for the After Action Report tomorrow. As I said, I've been invited to attend as a media representative, so hopefully I'll get an opportunity to pose a question to the Astrobotic staff and to NASA, because I think some questions definitely need to be asked about this mission, especially given the fact that Astrobotic is planning to carry out another and far more crucial mission to the Lunar South Pole in less than a year. I'll make sure to keep you guys informed. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay angry about space.